Hey everyone, finally welcome back to another one of Vlad's vlogs. Um, it's been a busy couple of months, school and everything, but it's also been a busy couple months at the farm. Lambing is done. We have a couple of late breeders that won't lamb until, uh, let's say, May probably. Calving started, we have five calves on the ground already. However, today is going to be one of the busiest days because we are going to be shearing our sheep. So, my job today is to help, obviously, but I also want to show you guys show you guys how we do that. So, I'm in the barn right now, and I'm gonna try to explain my try to explain in the best way possible for all of you to understand. So what we have here is kind of our creep feeding section. So we made the door so only the lambs could get in and the ewes can't get in. I don't know if you can see, but that ewes head's right there and she always wants to get in. So here's some of the lambs that were born. Um, first ones probably weigh around, let's say 50, 55, 60 pounds. So it's looking pretty good. This creep feed stuff that we have, these pellets are, are doing them good. So for shearing today, as you can see, we have this pallet here. We have this pallet there, essentially a kind of channel. And we have that third pallet over there by the barn door. So what this first pallet is essentially supposed to do is our makeshift rounding tub. So you pick it up, put maybe five or six in here, close them, and then we can move them down the first channel here and then have the shearer pick them up at that makeshift door right there. So what the shearer usually does is he stands here on this plywood, hooks himself up to this, uh, to this brace that my dad welded so that his back hurts because if any of you do know shearing hits the back pretty hard and then here what we want to do is push the ewes in after close this behind them and we're going to spray them but also give them an internal dewormer so the spray is going to be an ectoban and the internal dewormer will be valbazan so i'll show you guys the bottles for that and explain what all those things do and then we're just gonna release them and then they're gonna go back into their corral. Some other exciting news though is puppies. So our female dog had eight puppies with our male dog. And now I think they're at three weeks old. Ooh. Aggressive one. At three weeks old. So we're trying to get rid of them. They're a Yugoslavian sheepdog mix with a great Pyrenees. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody who watches Vlad's vlogs knows of someone or needs a big dog in their family, leave a comment down below. So what we're going to start off with is... I don't know if you guys can see them, but we have the ram with the the, sh the ewes that came into estrus a little later than the other ones i think there's one two three four five six seven eight over there so we're gonna bring them to the barn first get them done and then put them back in that corral because they just need feed and water we don't really need to do much more for them except shear them today so now i'm going to show you guys the calves that we have at the farm so far I think it is the ratio is three males to two females right now so almost one to one but not quite there yet we want our bigger bigger cows to have heifers preferably so that we have good replacements but we can use some good uh, good steers also for the market for ourselves so here's one that's number 10, so she gave birth to a heifer, number 10. Tried to match the tag. Yeah. 
very 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 muddy springtime snow is melting the corrals are just all mocked but we try to keep it as dry as we can for the calves that are being born Here's a lonely little bugger. This one's pretty big, honestly. What number is that? Number 12. I think that one might be a male. And then this one's in here because we think that she's gonna calf sometime today. So we just put her in, in the shelter corral for a, so that we can keep a closer eye on her. Yeah, she has massive bags. Ligaments seem to be loosening up around the tail head. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, she seems to be having contractions from what I can tell on the side. So we'll make sure to keep an eye on her. that we were saying it's probably gonna give birth today actually is and there's the first signs so we're supposed to be shearing but my mom's gonna switch me out here and she's gonna make sure this goes okay and I'm gonna go with my dad in the shear Pushing out all the liquids now from the amniotic sac. As promised, I'm just going to explain what we're using today. So this is the dewormer that we're going to drench them with. Valbazen one liter and the ratios that we are using is four mils for 45 kilos I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there so with the gun that I'm going to be using the lowest is 2.5 and the second lowest is five so I'll just use the five mils this bottle of Albazan is close to expiry so the potency isn't as as good as it would be if we bought it brand new today so we'll see how that works this is the first time we're using that so I'll keep you guys posted on how well it works and this is the um, external spray that we're going to be applying to our ewes it's called Ectoban 
and it helps against horn flies, face flies, black flies, and lice. So just stuff that you can find underneath the wool once you once you shear them, and we just want to make sure that we get rid of that so it doesn't affect them in any way, nutritionally or in an animal welfare way. But we're just going to be applying that with this sprayer that we got specifically for that. And here I'm getting distracted by the mom wanting to get to her puppies, so gotta let her have what she wants. Also, as you can see, my new tooth, Palpation Nation. I'll uh, plug the link to the merchandise website in the comment section below or in the tags, whatever works on YouTube. It's been a while since I've actually been on YouTube. But yeah, you guys check that out. I'll make a discount code as well. So uh, everything capital letters, Vlad's Vlogs, you'll get 10% off your entire order. So you guys should go check it out while the sale still lasts. So what I'm gonna try and do is show you a little bit of each each step of the process for shearing today. So I'm gonna show you guys how the sheep are rounded in the rounding tub. I'm gonna show you guys how they come down the channel, how the shearer pulls them out so that he can get them done. Oh, and also me and my dad are gonna be uh, trimming their hooves. So once the shearer is done, I'll be holding the sheep and then my dad will just get access to their hooves and trim them up, make them look nice and so that the user walking comfortable and that we don't have any uh, lameness problems. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six got back in. She's done. And one more for that group of six that I was talking about earlier. And then we're gonna bring the ones that are in behind the barn in and get them done. Should be a good day. Alright, so the shear is done. However, I showed you guys that we had a calf or sorry, a cow going in labor, and then here's the product. 